I'll wear mitts. Uh, uh, George. <laughs> I forgot to make any dessert for the Johnsons, and I smelled this, and and, and, and I, I didn't think Missy would mind if I took a couple of pieces. Oh, no, you weren't taking it out. You were bringing it in. Oh, oh yeah, but my conscience hurt, you know, so I, I brought it back. George, I think I'd better explain. Hazel is working for the Johnsons, but she's taking care of us, too. Oh, so that's it. Well, thanks to the two of you, I've lied to Mr. Wheeler. Oh, not really. No, we don't employ Hazel, and we won't until the case is over. Please don't be angry, George. Well, why shouldn't I be? This is the most, uh, the most conniving bit of skullduggery I've ever heard of. <laughs> you don't mind. And we don't have to tell Mr. Wheeler. Oh, sure, let it ride. After all, the truth is an elastic thing. You can stretch it a long way before it snaps back on you. You see, Missy, he ain't as ethical as we thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, it sure is nice to be together again, ain't it, Missy? Oh, I like it. Well, which reminds me, Mr. Wheeler will be dropping in now and then for a conference. It wouldn't do for him to find you here. Oh, well, we better have some kind of a signal ready, huh, Missy? Oh, a signal. Uh, Hazel, can you see our kitchen windows from the Johnson house? Easy. Well, when Mr. Wheeler is here, I'll pull the shade down on the middle window. And that means stay away until it goes up again. Got it. Say, I better be getting back to the Johnsons. They'll think I deserted them. Anybody want another hunk of pie? No, 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 thanks. No, thank you, Hazel. Oh, well, I'll take one. It's a shame to have terrific homemade pie go to waste. You always have been modest, Hazel. Oh, what's so good about being modest? If your horn has a good tone, blow it. <laughs> this is a most ingenious apparatus, Harriet. I find it quite fascinating. It's based on the suction principle. Particles of dust are sucked up from the floor and pass through that tube into this cylindrical receptacle. <laughs> Hazel, may I ask a favor? Go ahead, shoot. I I'd like to work that machine myself if you've no objection. Okay, grab the controls. <laughs> Am I doing it properly? Just like a pro. You see, Harriet, I have a definite talent for mechanical things. I had no idea you were so gifted. <laughs> keep your eye on him. The first thing you know, he'll be trying to pilot one of them jet planes. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Wheeler. Baxter. Uh, George is waiting for you in the den. I'm sorry to turn your home into a business office, but we have uh, fewer interruptions here. Oh, I understand. I don't mind a bit. Go right on in. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Mom, have you seen Smiley? He's disappeared. Oh, well, a dog that size shouldn't be hard to find. Just look around. Okay. Here's Smiley. Here's Smiley. Where are you, Smiley? <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> well, I hate to spoil your thoughts. Mr. Johnson, but I gotta take the vacuum and get over to the Baxters. Well, now that I've mastered it, Hazel, may I do it again tomorrow? Oh, sure. <laughs> I'll let you put stuff in the washing machine. That's a kick, too. Oh, well, the shade's up. Coast clear. Will you be gone long, Hazel? Just long enough to clean the house and do the beds. I'll start with Mr. B's den and get the worst over first. <laughs> These figures on the value of your plant to the community should do the trick, Mr. Wheeler.